and cut. Perfect. Ow! Ow! Oh, ow. What did you do? Owie, 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 owie. Ow, my elbow. Ow. Oh, hit it on that. Well, let me hit your other one and then it'll feel a little better on that side. That's not funny. <laughs> you're the only person that thinks that's funny. Okay. Oh, wow. What a relief. We're finally sitting down to film this. It's been in the back of my mind. This video has been highly, 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 probably one of the highest requested videos that we've... Everybody's asking asked for, for this it. one and we keep saying, oh, we're going to get to it like next week. We're going to get to it next week. <laughs> it's been like three months. Yeah. And so. then we actually just transitioned out of the snoo, which is behind us. If, if you're wondering what this is all about, this is what we're reviewing today. So we're gonna get to the snoo review in a minute here, but we're just gonna give you guys a quick update, how things are going, how Louie's doing. Where is Louie? Oh my goodness, is he in the snoo? No, he's <laughs> not in the snoo. Yeah, so right now Louie is at daycare and we dropped him off there a little bit ago and it's actually really good because right now we're getting a deck built at our house and it's really freaking loud. I didn't know building a deck would be so loud. It sounds like they're drilling in our basement. Like that's yeah. what I've been thinking the whole time. You hear like loud bangs against the house. The whole house feels like it's shaking. I'm like, oh my goodness. I had no idea that was involved with building a deck. <laughs> yeah. So that's, it's, it's probably good because he would not be getting any sleep. No. And luckily it's early in the morning right now and the deck guys aren't here. So we're making this video really quick. Yeah. And any other updates? Like what's he been doing? He's been like trying to scoot when you put him on the floor on, yeah. on his tummy. He like scrunches and like retracts. Yeah. And it looks like he's seriously about to start crawling any day now. <laughs> so uh, that's a huge update. And the other thing that has been so, so beneficial since he's been in daycare is he's been sleeping in a crib now. Yes. Which has been amazing. I don't know why my, whenever I like talk about like something passionately, my eyes start watering. I'm not she's crying. crying. I'm you not guys. crying. No. She's crying. She doesn't want to let you know, but she's crying. I'm not. Okay, so big benefit. Louis used to sleep on us. He would refuse. Anytime we put him down, he'd wake up. Now we can put him down in a crib. He'll like kind of stir a little bit. He can nap in his crib, is yeah. what she's trying to say, and which is amazing. He sleeps in his crib overnight, too. There you go. He was in the snoo up until two weeks ago three weeks ago yeah and then he basically said cold i hate turkey. the snoo yeah and he <laughs> said i want in the crib and yeah. cold turkey he's like i love the crib yeah he's a tummy sleeper so yeah obviously with the snoo you'll see later they can't flip that's that's like the biggest benefit i think of the snoo for safe sleep is yeah. they're on their backs which they say back is best so and he the second you set him down he literally turns out there's no keeping him on his back no. like it's just he will not sleep on his yeah. back and we use the owlet for peace of mind because it, I don't know, what does it do? It senses his it, it, oxygen or yeah, something? Yeah, it keeps track of his oxygen, his heart rate, which people swore by the owlet. And I was like, what is the point of it? Like when he was in our room, I thought it was completely useless. I never yeah. used it. I used it for one or two nights. But with the snoo, the owlet thinks that the baby's moving. So it really won't give you any readings if yeah. the snoo's moving too fast. So now that he's not in our room and I can't constantly hear him. Yeah. And we've had a couple false alarms with it because like we won't put it on tight enough or something and then like a couple hours later in the middle of the night we'll hear like the alarm going off it's like holy crap and then we run in here and sure enough it's just the the thing is loose on his foot or whatever yeah but that gives you peace of mind so if you're right. looking for peace of mind for your baby sleeping get yourself an owlet we really like it yeah i think that's our review for the owlet <laughs> <laughs> yeah um anything else that he's been doing i, I don't he's just been smiling and like He's becoming a lot easier of a baby, yeah. it seems like, which is really nice. Like, and he'll chill in the bouncer. And he's grasping for, for toys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hold on. Now, guess what he does? He is now reaching out for hugs. It's the most adorable <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Like, he'll, like, reach out like this when you're coming up to him. And it's, like, her app. What did it say the other day? It said that, like look for your baby noticing your hugs and kisses and like oh slow-mo hugs and kisses that way they kind of get an idea and louis sometimes yeah like when i picked him up from daycare he just like snuggled in my yes, neck and, and he it like, was the cutest thing ever. he reaches out for you and it's like he's like trying to mimic it it says yeah. on the app that they don't know why they're doing it they're just doing it because right. they see you doing it all the right. time but 
it, for me, it's freaking adorable. So I love that. Yeah. And I cut you off earlier about something. Sorry, I just had to get that out. Yeah, but oh, I, grasping toys. I and think stuff. yeah, I think we should just hop into the review. Okay, so now we're gonna hop into the new review. Hopefully, that was enough updates. We're gonna have more updates probably next week or something. He'll hopefully be crawling by then. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Do you want to just hop right into it? Yeah. So. The snoo. This thing costs like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. I think it retails something. for like twelve or thirteen hundred. Yep. But here's a secret, you guys. Buy it during some sale. Like you know, there's always like Memorial Day sale, July Fourth sale, Black Mother's Friday, Day. Mother's Day. All these Father's sales. Day probably. They're always having sales, right? And I would recommend buying it during a sale, and then throughout the year, if you're pregnant currently and and you have it on order check their website and see if they have a better sale than what you bought because that's what we did and i think we bought it for like 30 percent off yeah. and then they had a sale for like 40 percent off or something and i just sent them a message on chat was like hey can you guys honor the difference and they were like yeah that's totally cool and they sent me the difference which was awesome do you remember when we had the 40 percent off discount because the 40 percent discounts if you're military i think you get it automatically so reach out to them for sure uh and if you're looking for the 40 percent. do you remember what day it was on i don't remember the day no but it was right before it was like the november so maybe like thanksgiving or maybe black friday black friday yeah, it probably was right around on. black friday so. and another cool thing is when you order the snoo you can delay the ship date you can delay the ship date which is really convenient because obviously you don't want to order it and then go out of warranty because it has a 30 day return policy yeah so you can delay the ship date until you have your baby and then boom, you have 30 days to try it out and you can return it and all that if it doesn't work out, but you won't probably won't want to return it. The way the packaging that this thing comes in, I wish we had filmed it because it's freaking awesome. I, think I, I didn't... might have some videos. videos, maybe pictures. Yeah, we'll see. But the packaging it comes in, like I felt bad about throwing the cardboard box away. <laughs> I don't even think you're supposed to. You're supposed to like repackage it. Can you quit hitting your freaking uh, elbow? This is like the worst place to Okay. Uh, okay, apparently hold on. she can't like I stop moving her elbow back there. I wanted to say something, but you couldn't stop talking. So you wanted to like nudge me? Um. So they say you have a 30 day return policy. They have a 30 day return policy on the snoo. I don't think that's enough time because they say it takes babies like three weeks to get used to it. And by yeah. that point you're like maybe four weeks. I don't remember what the time frame is, but. Yeah, totally. I don't think 30 days is enough for you to try it out. Make sure that your baby is a fan because if it were up to us, I think I would have returned it after 30 days. Ooh, sneak peek into this video. <laughs> should we like get started with opinions or going over it? Maybe we should go over it first. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you guys the app, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna go through all of that, and let you guys know whether or not we think it was worth it, and whether or not you should buy one if you have a young baby, or you're about to have a young baby, or whatever your case may be. Yeah. Also, you can rent them too, just for, cause we're probably gonna forget to say that. So you can rent them. That's another option. But heads up, heads up that the, the resale value on it is amazing. So if you're renting it or if you buy it, you could still resell it for pretty much the same price that you buy it for. If you yeah, it sale. that's the cool thing you guys. So we got it for like 40% off. And right now the used ones sell for like 40% less. So we right. can basically sell this for what we paid. I've seen people so sell it for like a thousand dollars though. So they'll pretend that they bought it and maybe they did buy it full retail. And then they'll be like, oh, a thousand dollars, you know, snooze for sale, yeah. like, you know, $200 off retail. So yeah, so I, I would just buy a new one, put it that way. Yeah, exactly. So now let's show you guys the app and how that works. I've never used it. So we'll hand off to you. <laughs> <laughs> You've never used it? No. I've never even looked at this app. It's been on my phone. I should delete it. It's taking up memory. Well, we don't need it now, right? I guess that's true. Okay, so I'm going to grab the camera. All right, so here's the app. This, you can engage the snooze. So if I were to hit the play button, it would start the motion. And then here we have the charts. So obviously Louis hasn't been in the snoo for quite a while, but when he was, at four and a half months, you can see this is the kind of like the key. So the white spots are when he was awake or out of the snoo. The snoo was completely suspended or off. Blue spots are sleeping and this was when the snoo was trying to soothe him. So as you can tell, here he woke up at 8.54, 10.57, uh, what else, 11.33, 12.30, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45, 12.45,
3.10, and then finally he woke up at 5.30 and we didn't use the snoo after. So that's just kind of the chart you can go through. There's a way to look at but you... specific days. So if we wanted to see how Louis slept in it the first night that we were home, I think it was January, what, 8th? Apply. <laughs> that was our sleep. Okay, so we'll kind of get into this later, but I thought the snoo was gonna give me full nights of sleep. Of sleep. Clearly, if you can tell, like this was a terrible night. At one week, he woke up. I don't. I don't even know how many times. I'm not gonna count it. But look at this one though. Here's an example of where the snoo saved us because it's red. He was awake, but the snoo got him back to sleep because you don't see any white where he was taken out. Right. And and that's the beauty of the snoo. Like right here too. Look at this. 11:30. If if he were in a normal bassinet, he would have been awake. He probably would have been awake. Again, 5.30, if you were in a normal bassinet, he would have been awake. So we had so many nights where we got additional sleep because the snoo, I mean, as you can tell, it was pretty rough for like the first two months. Honestly, this is probably, look at that. All right, so, I mean, I can scroll through this for ages, but I think you can get kind of a rough idea of how well <laughs> the snoo worked for us. So then uh, I haven't really, I think these are just what they're called stickies, but they're like articles or whatever that you can read about different parts of the snoo. So swaddling, checking in, apps, blah, blah, blah. As you guys can guess, I probably read every single one of those articles. <laughs> Here, Here's the settings. So you can, um, starting level motion, you can set it at baseline, which baseline is the motion that it'll go all night. Unless he stirs, then it moves up to the next level or he cries, I guess. Volume, you can set the volume of the white noise because there is white noise that plays for them as well. Responsiveness, right now we have it set to very high. You can set it to very low. So if he cries or he, if your baby grunts a lot, you can just set it to, you know, normal or low. Right now we have it very high that way. Kind of the second that he starts stirring, it starts calming him. And then we have snoo log start time, motion limiter, weaning, so Again, there's different motion settings. Okay, but anyway, Max says that's enough uh, information for you guys. So that's pretty much the app. So now we're gonna give you a kind of a, an overview of the snoo itself. So we have it connected to Wi-Fi. Some people are totally against that. I don't see, there's no cameras or anything. So I don't really think that's a huge deal. If somebody knows how Louis sleeping, it's not really gonna be the end of the world for me. Yeah, that way. agreed. <laughs> so anyway, here's how you kind of put the baby in the snoo. They, they come with these sleep sacks. They come with a small, medium, large, and you can buy extras. I bought extras because if Louis peed through his diaper or whatever, it's nice to have that on hand. It also comes with mattress covers. I think it came with one mattress cover, so I bought an extra one. And then this is the medium because obviously Louis didn't grow or didn't stay in the snoo long enough to be in the large. But <laughs> anyway, kind of what you do is you place the baby. I, I make sure the head is right here and then you take their arms and initially we tried to swaddle Louis with arms down so what we would do is we put his arms down wrap him up like this so this is velcro so you can do it as tight as you want and then after that you take this and then you zip it up so then it literally swaddles them and they're stuck on their back with Louis too, the super nice thing about this is we would use the swaddle me swaddles. So we'd oh yeah grab this because he hated sleeping like this with his arms down. Many times we'd wake up and his arms would be like this. So he somehow got them through. Yeah. So early on, we instead of that whole process, we would put Louis in this. People in the snoo group uh, on Facebook they recommend double swaddling. That way they're just kind of tighter in the swaddle and they don't break out of it because they'll wake up with their startle reflex. So what we did was we put Louis in this sleep sack. We would wrap that around him. And then the really nice thing about these sacks is they have little buttons and then they have a, a hole for the arms. So what we would do is we'd put Louis's arms like this through that swaddle. And, and then we would kind of put his legs, tuck them in there and then that way he's still safe that's how on he his slept. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's how he slept for probably a good majority of his life. Yep. Okay, so then when you put him in there, I usually start the snoo before I put him in there. Okay, so there's a button on the side here. If you want to use the app, you can use the app, but this was super beneficial. I, I got used to doing this. 
She just hits it with her knee. <laughs> and this is my biggest complaint of the snoo. My biggest complaint of the snoo is that that button doesn't exist on the floor. To yeah. me, you should be able to push it with your foot. That'd be really nice because you're tall. So for you, you have to kind of like... It's really a struggle for me because I'm tall. So I literally have to... I have Louis in my arms. I have to bend way down, bump it with my knee. And then my <laughs> legs are shaking because I don't work out enough. And I'm like trying to figure out how where the button is. I'm hitting all over the place. Yeah. So that's a struggle. That's my biggest complaint. They need to get a button on the freaking ground for this thing. Come on, Snoo. What's the doctor's name? Uh, Dr. Carp, I think. Come on, Dr. Carp, the inventor of the Snoo. You guys can definitely put a button on the ground. I think that's uh, a doable ask. So I'm not going to scream. Well, but we'll pretend Louis starting to cry and he doesn't want to be in the bassinet. He wants to be in our arms instead. Because um, it would detect his screaming. It would. Right. Right. That's how it, it knows to move up a level. Okay. So Louis right now is calm. This is baseline. This is all night. You can change the settings if you don't want that to be the case. But this was what we hear all night. I've been almost tempted to turn this thing on with even though he's sleeping in his crib just because I want the white noise. <laughs> I love, love, love the white noise in this. Yeah. Room. I wish they had like a separate noise machine. Yeah. Okay. We'll so Louis crying. The snoo senses this. You don't have to control it, but you can. And now it, it, it just... This is level one soothing. So the volume, I think, increases and it is a little bit more aggressive with the movements. And then if you went... It would... Level two. He's still crying. Level three. And this is usually where I would have locked it at level three. So it would only rise to level four sound, but it wouldn't rise to level four movement just because when they're so little, their, their neck is so fragile that I didn't want it to, I don't know, I just felt <laughs> bad. But here's level four. When you heard this noise in the middle of the night, you're like, oh crap, it's time to wake up. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you do, and sometimes he goes back to bed. <laughs> this level, at least the noise of this level, because again, we had it locked at, at level three, it would go to this sound, and this would usually put Louis back to sleep if he were, you know, not hungry or whatever. Yeah, but if he doesn't go back to sleep, when you hear this noise, you're like, oh boy, it's time to wake up. And the, the snoo does shut off after I think a couple minutes of this level because it says like, all right, we're turning the snoo off. Take care of your baby. Yeah. It, so the snoo will like st stop It'll itself stop from eventually. helping the baby if the baby just is inconsolable. Right. Because obviously if the baby is crying, it needs something, right? It needs to be burped, changed or fed or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of the review. You can pause it again manually on the app or you can hit the button to turn it off. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. And it it looks more. super nice. It's cute, right? We just swapped. So one of the things that I don't like, as I mentioned, is this button. When you're tall like me, you're looking all over for it with your knee, but instead I have to crouch way down, got Louie in my arms, got to find the button with my knee, push it, and then it turns on, and then, or turn off if I'm getting him out. That's super annoying to do. But one of the hardest things that I don't like about cribs or bassinets is I wish these sides came down so you could just lay them down like this. Or like slide them in there. And sl or just slide them in there. I don't know why cribs and bassinets don't have that. It, it must be like some legal thing. Yeah, Louis always wake. Well, yeah. If they he goes like this every time you lay him down. Every, still to this day, he goes like waking up like he's yeah. falling off of like 20 story building. You know what people recommended is setting their feet down first. And then that way they kind of have like a baseline of where they're going to land. And then that way you can slowly, but it's so hard to put a baby slowly into I've any I've tried everything, servant. you guys. I've tried everything yeah. and it doesn't work every time. I, I don't think I've ever put him down without him going. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, I don't know. I, it would be so nice if the sides just came down even like six inches just so you could like well, I lay think him in there. Then you have to worry about people or people like leaving it down and then the baby rolling out. I think that's I the I think this thing. thing is smart enough where it could have a sensor to detect that you left it down and, and say, hey, come get your baby. I'm waking it up if you don't come put the sides uh, back up. It seems a little high tech for I it. I mean, come on. But that is the snoo. Okay, so should we get into like the actual review review now? Oh, now we're gonna have the deck people in the background. The deck people are building, so we're gonna make this quick. Sorry guys. Okay, so it's probably gonna get very loud. Sorry if you hear banging in the background, but that's what we're living with right now. <laughs> and thank goodness Louie's at daycare taking a nap right now. Yes. So as far as the snoo, do we recommend it? You give your- everything. I think, 
do I recommend it? It's really tough to say because they kind of sell it like your baby's gonna be getting a full night's sleep all the time. He's gonna be sleep, he or she is gonna be sleeping eight hours every night. It's like- That's what I thought, honestly. Yeah. Again, probably super naive, but that's exactly what I thought would, ha would happen. And that was the sole purpose of this bassinet. Yeah, and that's that's what we thought was gonna happen. That did not happen, no. clearly. As you saw in the charts. Yes, <laughs> but I, I would say overall, is it worth the purchase? Yes, if you get it on sale like we did, because first of all, we can sell it and pretty much make all of our money back. Second of all, you saw in the app where there were times, many nights, where this thing definitely put him back to sleep and we would have been awake <laughs> yeah, when, when I would wake up in the morning, I would always look at the charts just because I'd be curious, like, hey, did this new do what it was supposed to do? And it, I mean, probably 60 or 70% of the time, I would say there that there would be a red mark where it yeah, soothed him. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think the beginning, I would say like the first month, it didn't work that great. And then maybe the last month, it didn't work that great. But everything yeah. in between, it worked pretty well. So overall, I would recommend it. It just depends on your baby. It really depends on your baby. It works for, again, some babies super well. It might be it, a miracle for your baby. Exactly. It just totally, every baby is so, so different. I thought all babies were the same. <laughs> Completely wrong. A little naive there. I think Louis also had reflux. We never got a diagnosis for reflux, so I think that was a big problem for Louis too. He puked a ton when he was a baby, so yeah. I think he just had tummy issues, he had gas pains. It, it was just a struggle overall. So overall, my recommendation would be yes, but don't plan on it being this miracle device, even though it is for some people, it definitely wasn't for us. So don't buy it with that intention. What's your recommendation? Would you buy it or not? Ah, oh, gosh, see my, my opinion changes all the time. So for the first month, again, I thought it was gonna be this miracle device that kept him asleep all night long. The first month she said, she said, I hate that we I bought the snoo. Like, the I, snoo. she's like, it was a waste of money, blah, blah, blah. Second month, she was like. The second month, I was like, okay, it's putting him to sleep. When we when we set him down on any other surface other than the snoo, he automatically wakes up. So the fact yeah. that I think the motion kept him asleep and it was super helpful in that regard. But again, it's not a super like miracle device. Yeah. I feel like I'm giving like really mixed opinions because when people message me on Instagram, I'm like, yes, get it, get it, get it. It's the perfect, you know, so it's, I, don't, I don't, it's tough. Well, it's, I don't want to sound like we don't like it. Yeah. We, we totally would purchase it again if we had. So your recommendation is that you would buy it. I would buy it. Yeah. yeah. So my recommendation, I think the, I think the pluses outweigh the minuses. We just had a really hard baby. Exactly. So if you have a tough baby, you might be in the same situation as us where it's like you bought it and it definitely helped, but it wasn't some miracle thing. Exactly. But you might also be in a situation where it is the miracle thing and you're like, holy crap, I'm sleeping eight hours a night and my baby's two weeks old. So right. that you, you oh. just never know. And we have way too many noises going on we in this house. We have a crazy house right now. Jax is working, Deck is being built. Ugh, We're just all missing over the place. Louis. Yeah. We're missing Louis yeah, yeah, yeah. camera. Okay, so I- So yes and yes. Yes and yes. Yes and yes, so buy it, I guess. If you can get it on sale, get it. If you have the funds, obviously. Here's a don't. question: Would you buy it for twelve hundred dollars? I don't know if. If I had known what, what it would have done, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I would have either. Knowing what we know now, yeah. I wouldn't have paid twelve hundred for it. But paying eight hundred, I think it was roughly like eight sixty or something. Yeah, it was like seven sixty or eight sixty. I can't remember. Yeah. Something like that. So. That price, definitely worth it because it, they can sell for like 600 or 700, so it's like. Yeah, depending on the area, they can sell for about seven to like 800, I think. And if you go on Amazon and buy like a decent bassinet, you're looking at probably a couple hundred bucks. So that's what it would cost you out the door if you bought this, used it, and then sold it when you were done. Right. So it's probably better to just do that with this. And. <laughs> <sighs> I think, yeah. Do you have anything else to add? No, they need to add a button to the floor. They definitely need to add a button to the floor. It's my biggest pet peeve with this thing. Hey, do you want me to make you cry real fast? Yeah. Um, we, like Louie already had like his last in the snoo, like he's officially done with it. I already it. thought about that, so I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> She's trying to make me cry, you guys. Oh my goodness. And this vlog, no more tears in this vlog. There was tears in the last vlog, but not this vlog. <laughs> this one is professional. We have the lights set up and everything. Yeah, we have the lights set up going on, you guys. So, 
that is the review and hopefully so you guys happy. enjoyed it and sorry it's taken like three four or five months however long it's been yeah i guess we couldn't really do it right after we got it because we need to get experience with it because right. we don't want to give dishonest or inaccurate inaccurate opinions whatever anyway so that's the snoo review it. guys yeah hopefully hopefully that was worth it yeah, and stay tuned because next week we'll hopefully have updates with Louis doing something new because he's just going crazy with all kinds of stuff right now. Or if you have other ideas of things that you want to see or hear. Give us ideas for <sighs> vlogs, you guys. Because day in the life, day in the life. People, oh, see, the, I, I've wanted to film a day in the life, an updated one, but every morning when I make my coffee, I'm like, shoot, I should have You guys, this. send her some motivation because today she was super motivated to vlog. And that's the first time she's ever been super motivated to vlog. So There's send her no some baby motivation. There's screaming in my ear and I actually have my makeup <laughs> done for once in my life. Yeah. I think we'll do, maybe we'll try a day in the life vlog for next week. Fingers yeah. crossed, hopefully. But by next week, that probably means in like three months because you guys know us. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.